Hi, welcome to Adapt. In the last tutorial, we got basic knowledge about Raspberry Pi. Let's continue to learn it in this video. Previously, we used network cable to connect to the Raspberry Pi. After this tutorial, you can use SSH to connect the Raspberry Pi without network cables. The Raspberry Pi 3B Plus in my hand is integrated with the Wi-Fi module. As long as we configure it, it works. But before the Wi-Fi is configured, we still rely on a network cable. Otherwise, our router can't assign an IP to the Raspberry Pi, thus can't connect to it. Now connect the network cable to the Raspberry Pi and then power on. Now we're ready to configure Wi-Fi. Now let's start configuring Wi-Fi. Open the pad. Type in the IP address. We need an IP scanning software or log into the router terminal to find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Open the IP scanning software. Then start scanning. You can see this is a Raspberry Pi, but the icon in front of it is gray, indicating that the device is not working. Let's look at this one. The icon in front of it is blue, which means that the device works. Remember the IP address and the type in here. So now we are on the login page. Log in as the username type. And the password is Raspberry and now we are in the Raspberry Pi system. Now add the Wi-Fi configuration file with the VAM editor. To do VAM, switch to slash etc slash and the WPA. Now let's go to this page. First, set up the country which is in front of the first row. Then press I, enter Eastern mode, country equals site. Remember that there should be no spaces before and after equals site, otherwise the configuration will fail. Then start configuring the Wi-Fi network. Network equals site race. The SSID line needs to write the router Wi-Fi net. Then choose an encryption. If the Wi-Fi doesn't have a password, you don't need to choose encryption. So this row doesn't have to be written. Here our Wi-Fi has password, so this row should be written. The PSK line needs to write the password of Wi-Fi. So we've configured the Wi-Fi successfully. Then drive to disk and exit. Now let's look at the state of network. We can see that there is an IP address here as a network cable. But there is now a WLAN here. So we need to reboot the Raspberry Pi. Login again after reboot. So the configuration will take effect. Now let's take a look at the current network. Now you can see the IP assigned when network cable connected. Now the Wi-Fi is connected. So there will be an IP address. Let's test whether this IP is useful. Use this IP to log in. Create a new party window. You can see that this is a new WLAN IP. We we'll also log in with Pi as a username. And the default password is Raspberry. We can log in with this IP address. Again, let's look at the current network. It's the same as the last one. Of course, 
we can also disconnect network cable. Let's reboot it again. Log in with Pi as a username. Now you can see that network cable is disconnected. So there is no IP address assigned here. But the Wi-Fi is connected, which means that your Wi-Fi has been configured successfully. Now we have successfully configured a Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi. We can also use SSH to connect the Raspberry Pi without the network cables. Now it looks a lot tidier. The Raspberry Pi can not only connect to Wi-Fi, but also has Bluetooth. So now let's start configuring the Raspberry Pi's Bluetooth. We need another normal device with Bluetooth to connect it to the Raspberry Pi. So I've got a phone here. And now we're ready to configure the Raspberry Pi Bluetooth. First, reboot the Bluetooth surface. So do slash etc slash nit.d Bluetooth restart. Turn on the Bluetooth. Now let's go to the Bluetooth operation page. Then make a list. List available controllers. If you don't know what this instruction means, you can use help. You can see the explanation of so many instructions. And uh, the explanation is on the right. Then power on, oh, set controller power. Then scan the Bluetooth device nearby. Scan for devices. Then turn on the Bluetooth of the phone. You can see the name of my phone's Bluetooth. Now trust this device. And then press tab to supplement. Trust this device. Then our phone will be trusted. Then pair it. Pair the devices. Click pair on the phone and then connect. So I have connected the rest of the pipe with phone through Bluetooth successfully. You can also see it's successfully connected on our mobile phone. This means our Bluetooth is configured. You can connect to your mobile phone. It allows us to transfer files and play music and other functions. You can try more experiments by yourself or keep focusing on us. We will talk about that in the following tutorials. Now if we want to turn off Bluetooth, how do we turn it off? Let's just close everything down. Scan off. Set controller power. We can see that it's always connected to a cell phone. Press control and C. Now we can go back to the operation page of the Raspberry Pi. First, turn off the Raspberry Pi after the operation and then disconnect the power so the Raspberry Pi won't be damaged. In this tutorial, we learned the Raspberry Pi Wi Fi configuration and we can work normally without network cables. Also, it makes operation simple. And we also got the fundamental knowledge about Raspberry Pi's Bluetooth and connected with a mobile phone. If you have any question or something you don't understand, you can leave a message on our website. We will solve it for you. So see you in the next tutorial.